here in John. Tomorrow, Brandon wants to read some Bible verses, so I'm going to find some Bible verses for him to read. Because he would like to read some. So I told him, all right, I'll find you some Bible verses, and I'll let you read them, and I'll put them up for tomorrow's Bible. So I'm going to let Brandon do that tomorrow. All right, we're in John chapter 2. And the third day, there was a marriage in Canaan of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. All right, now I want to explain this. This is the first miracle that Jesus ever did. All right. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they went, wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. And his mother said unto his servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And there were set there six water pots of stone, after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three franken, uh, frankens apiece. Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he said unto them, Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bore it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called to the bridegroom, and saith unto him, Every man at the beginning doeth set forth good wine. And when men have well drunk, then they which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. This being of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee, and manifest forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. After this, he went down to Capernaum, he and his mother and his brethren and his disciples, and they continued there many days. And the Jewish Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those that sold oxen and sheep and dove and changers of money setting. And when he had made a surge of all the cords, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep and the oxen, and poured out the changers' money, and overthrew the tables, and said unto them that sold doves, Take these things hence, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thy house hath eaten me up. Now, me and Rick, we kind of like, we were like, whoa, wait a minute here. We passed a church yesterday, and they were going to have a Christmas sale in the church house. Y'all know what I think about churches. All right. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in the building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spoke of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said unto them, and they believed the scriptures and the word which Jesus had said. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, the feast day, 
many believed in his name. Then they saw the miracles which he did. Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men, and indeed not that any should testify of him, for he knew what was in man. Now Jesus Christ knew what was in man. All right, we're on chapter 3. This one's going to be a small one. Now tomorrow, I'm going to let Brandon do it. And I'm going to have to do a lot of work here to help him out. I'm kind of glad this is a short one so I can get busy and get this done. Alrighty, hugs and kisses. If you would like to donate to Poor Man's Sewing, come down here to Poor Man's Sewing. Then come up here and look for About. And right here you can donate to the channel. And every donation is really appreciated. We thank you very much, and I hope you have a blessed day.